No matter how long you've been programming, one thing will get into your code and that is a bug. Programmers are confronted with bugs every day. Bugs can be small and unobtrusive, but sometimes they're really huge and destroy your whole program. Since the topic of bugs is so omnipresent in programming, there is of course a very special discipline that only deals with eliminating them. By that, I'm in the process of debugging. Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Jay Sparrow Start Programming. My name is Ben and in this video I would like to give you a few simple tips that will help you with the process of debugging. Programming beginners often have the problem that if they have a bug in their program they don't always know how to proceed and then they actually just stare at their code all the time hoping that they will eventually find the problem and that's obviously not really efficient. You can do it much better and more structured and we will talk about how you do it now. So let's start with tip number one and this is actually a very simple one use print statements in C sharp you have your console.write line in game maker you have a show underline message function and in Java you have the print method system.out.print and so on in every programming language you have the possibility somehow to put a value into a console and that can be used very well for debugging because in this way you can quickly and easily calculate the value of any variable anywhere in your code and you don't even need a complex development environment for this. You can easily do something like that in your editor and then run the program. The next tip is to understand your problem. I have already made a video regarding this subject and many of you might remember me explaining this to you. Pretty much every programming problem can be solved like this. But for a novice programmer it often is difficult to think about and understand the problems in concrete terms. What is actually going wrong and what would you like to have as a result? You can solve a problem that you haven't really understood yet. To really solve it you first have to understand what your goal is and then you will also get to the solution much faster than if you just randomly try try to change something in your code only to end up doing it in a way you have roughly imagined. So think about it specifically. What is my goal and what should be the result in the end? And then work towards it. The next tip is to use your debugger. Nowadays every useful development environment has debugging tools and you should really use these tools, especially if you are dealing with a more difficult bug. With a debugger you can set so called breakpoints in the code and the program is then stopped at this breakpoint. This means you can stop programs at runtime and then see exactly what the current status of your program is. For Java, I would definitely recommend the debugger we have built in the last years, namely Captain J Sparrow. J Sparrow is a rule-based Java refactoring tool for Eclipse IDE and Maven and can fix your whole code with just one click. J Sparrow finds and fixes bugs, refactor your code to make it faster, makes it more secure and also improves the readability. J Sparrow has already found countless bugs in open source projects and saved them thousands of hours and spared many people from headaches and frustration. The best thing is that you can use JSparrow for free. For that you just have to click the link in the video description, sign up for free and leave the debugging work to your captain. You can put in variables, look up values, you can analyze your data structures and much more. Because you can run your program step by step with a debugger, you can see exactly how your program behaves at runtime and then react accordingly. So if you still have no experience with any debugger, then you should check it out to see how to use debuggers and use it more often in practice. This is really a very important tool that every programmer should use. If you have any questions regarding our tool JSparrow, you're always welcome to send us a direct message, we are happy to answer it. Another valuable tip I can give to you is to take a little break when a bug is so annoying and you really spend hours trying to fix it but you don't get any real success with it. You should distance yourself a bit from this problem and simply go outside or do something else. Go for a walk in the woods or just work in in another area of life. You will see the next time you go back to your computer you will come to a solution faster because you've got this in the back of your mind all the time and have thought through the problem without actively noticing it. Another thing that also often helps is to explain the problem to someone else. For example a colleague, a friend or even a rubber duck. I made my own rubber duck video that many of you probably already know. It often happens that programmers can solve their problems themselves while explaining them. You think about the issue while you 
you're explaining it and therefore get a better insight what actually needs fixing. Explaining the problem to someone definitely helps you to understand it better. So those were a few tips to help you with debugging your programs. If you have any more tips, then share it in the comments with me and the community. I would be glad about that. And of course, if you liked the video, then I would be very happy if you give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel so you stay motivated and on the ball as far as programming goes. For the rest, I wish you a wonderful day and have fun programming. Goodbye!